is the one person in the building. Who is that? Speak, honey. Who that? Papo. Who that? So y'all be sure to join me. There's only one person in here currently. Me and Bond are in here together. Yes. Hey, Sherry. Nothing's popping. Hey, Lee. How you doing? I'm going to go ahead and apologize already because y'all have Mr. So long <laughs> downstairs watching the game. That's why I'm not downstairs because he's watching the game and he's a little loud. Okay? Okay. How y'all doing on this beautiful Sunday? Hey, Chocolate 34. How you doing, honey? I am blessed. And highly favored, honey. That is what I am. Mm -hmm. um, hey, TNT. Go Cowboys. I know, child. All that hooping and hollering, that's what y'all hear from downstairs. Now, I just cooked. I just cooked a really quick dinner. Because I can't start sipping on nothing unless I have something on my stomach. And um, yeah, I'm already full. Where is everyone? Well, I am early. I am early. So that's one thing. Are you growing your curls out or sticking with this length? Um, I'm going to, I want it to grow out just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Piquito. Okay. Ooh. Let me see. Um, hey, Stephanie. Adrian. Thank you. Looking beautiful as ever. And I'm pretty sure y'all in your homes, y'all looking just as beautiful too. Okay. So I'm trying to be off of here, y'all, before Walking Dead. Come on, because I just got caught up on Walking Dead and I ain't trying to get behind. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what I'm sipping on tonight. I'm not sipping on a wine tonight. I am actually having a cocktail. Okay. Um, hello, Tasia, Tammy, long kinky twist in that color would be really fire. Whatever. So, yes, go Cowboys. Hello, always right. What's the topic tonight? Y'all didn't read the um title. The topic is women who are going back to work. We need to discuss that, okay? So I'm going to tell y'all what I'm drinking. What I'm sipping on right now. I have a shot or two of Grey Goose, and I have um, cranberry mango juice mixed with it. Jasmine don't want me to talk about it right now. Everybody say, hey, Jada. That's what they saying. And it was like, hey, little Jada. You bring me a um, paper towel, please. I know you have one in the bathroom. You need to grow some thongs. Bond said he is tired of Jada trying him. Okay, talking about he need to th grow some thumbs. So I guess he can do some of the stuff that I be asking her. 
Can you give the addresses to the Goodwill you shop at? Are you talking about the ones in Georgia or the ones in New Jersey? It's limited supply, limited ones that I um, shop at in Jersey because I'm a more um, more like um, what am I trying to say? I'm reading something and I'm talking to y'all at the same damn time. Um, here in Jersey, I I really mess with the red, white, and blue thrifts. And the um, <laughs> and um, my unique, unique thrift. I really mess with those here in Jersey. So, Adrian, which ones are you talking about? Goodwills in Jersey or Goodwills in Georgia? I think I hit them. I hit a lot of them in Georgia. Baby Bond is right here on the floor. He is. He's right by his mama's feet. Okay, so Adrian in New Jersey, there is one located in um. Hold up, let me get my thoughts together. Um, I want to say Cherry Hill, but it's not Cherry Hill. It's Passaic, I think. Um, but the one in Cherry Hill, the um, Plato's Closet in Cherry Hill, there is also a Goodwill in Lumberton, New Jersey. That's really good. They have a lot of vintage stuff. Um, the one in East Brunswick is whack to me. Um, what other Goodwills? Um, East Brunswick. Um, the one in Brick is really good. Brick, New Jersey. Um, Ocean, Tom's River. Um, the red, white, and blues. I like the one in Hamilton. I like the one in um, Voorhees, New Jersey. But the uniques. Um, yeah, the unique thrifts. I hit them all. And those are all mainly um, North Jersey. Like um, South and North, Plainsville, Jersey City, Elizabeth. Um, I be all over this place, okay? All over. So, y'all, um, let me just make sure I'm crystal clear. Tonight's subject and topic is definitely about women getting ready to go back to work. A lot of people are getting ready to go back to work in the building, okay, at the actual job site. Some people are still continuing to work from home. So I just want to dibble and dabble about, like, what that might look like. Because I know I went back to work um, last June and I was there until the middle of August and then I had to take a medical leave um, absence because the job, these people was just too stressful for me. That manager I had, she was just too much. And then um, when I returned to work in November, I was there for seven days and all the bullshit that I thought that left with the old manager, shit, was still there brewing. Do you hear me? Was still there brewing. So, got it. I cannot find my notebook. I had a notebook. 
um, the other day, and I don't know, it's MIA. I hope somebody ain't creeped it from me. I like having cute notebooks and shit. Let me show y'all this cute one I just bought here recently. This one is called Black Girl I Am. Joy I feel, love I need, pride I have, magic I share, truth I speak, wisdom I seek, confident I stand, black girl I am. Okay? And I got this one from Home Goods. I was like really surprised. And it's a notebook. So I I have tons of notebooks. I don't know about y'all, but um I have tons. Hey Marjorie, Sally Reese, Danielle Ortez, um, Sherry. How y'all doing tonight? 28 of y'all in here right now, and the clock just struck eight o'clock. Okay. So for those of you who are on time, and on time I do mean, we ain't on CP time, okay? Y'all know um, some of us like CP time. When it comes to a service, child, I don't like CP time, honey. I need your ass to be on time, all right? So that's why I be trying to show up on time for y'all. And even though I have a family crisis going on today, I still showed up for y'all. So once again, tell y'all what I'm drinking. I'm sipping on tonight. Um, I'm sipping on two shots of Grey Goose and some um, mango cranberry juice with ice. And it's got me feeling real right. I didn't have my dinner. Um... Oh, Miss Jackson, I'll tell you later, girl. I'll tell you later. It is not um, something that um, somebody wants to be posted on this platform, okay? Yes, we have family crisis today. And um, I could have easily told y'all, <laughs> chuck them deuces, good night, uh, I'll holler at y'all ass next week, but that's not who I am. That's not who I am, okay? So, um, once the family crisis has um, worked itself out, I'll share. But right now, we just we, we keep in prayer. Okay, that's what we keep in. So, hey Asia, um, Marjorie, she said we appreciate your. Time. Thank you, boo. See, you said tone, but I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. Um, thank you, Celie. Yes, virtual hugs, virtual hugs. And um, Vaughn, come here. Vaughn want to make sure y'all know he is good, okay? <laughs> Cause everybody been concerned about little old Vaughn since since Jasson relocated. Tell them how you doing. How you doing? I'm doing absolutely just fine. Just fine. I miss her. I miss our, our cuddle time. But I'm good. I'm Gucci. Okay, so I just want y'all to see Bond is okay. He's over here <laughs> living his best life. Yeah. And y'all, tonight, our host that will be on with me tonight is Beauty, okay? It's okay, Marjorie. It is okay. I know. he He's so dapper. <laughs> Child, if Bond was a human, I think Bond would get all the ladies, okay? Because he is just, like, he's just so suave. I'm like, I don't just, I don't worry. I don't worry. I mean, like my my former cousin that used to live with you guys. They just love me too, Mama. They love me too. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna go back down here. He right here by my feet. Okay. Yeah, that's my baby. 
So with his cowboy colors, actually he on purple and white. I gotta get him a new jersey. I got I gotta get him a new jersey because um we plan on going to a game, a cowboy game, um before um this year is out. And we preferably trying to go to the to the Dallas. We're trying to go to, to the Texas. Okay. We're trying to go with our, our cowboy boots and shit on. Do you feel me? Okay, y'all. Beauty. Girl, you looking all beauty. Huh? You looking all beauty. Oh. Now I'm tired. No, you accept the compliment. Accept it. You look skinty. Oh, thank you. Oh, we got dark hair this week. Okay. This week. Okay, we have dark hair. Girl, you missed my virtual um shopping I did with Mama earlier, child. Ashley had to hook it up. She had to hook it up. Hmm. I said, wow. Yes, and she was modeling for me the whole nine on a damn step stool. Okay, I said, if you don't get yourself off that step stool, because you can't sue yourself, sis, okay? She, she remained on the damn stool. I saw the pictures, though. You saw, <laughs> you saw the pictures? Girl, it was even more entertaining than being live. So, UT, say hello. They haven't seen you in a while, honey. Hey, everybody. They say, oh, hello, right. hello, honey. I am not used to seeing you with dark hair. I'm not. Well, I do it every now and again when I'm just, you know. No, I don't know. When I'm just not in the mood to do my hair. Oh, okay. Well, I want some not, braids, but I don't feel like doing that. So you know, are you, you trying to call um, niece Jada down to Jacksonville? I ain't got them kind of coins to so send. Bring her oh, down. Okay. So unless she coming down on her own. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, and let me just go on ahead and tell you, the devil is a lie. <laughs> the devil is a liar. Okay. Oh, well, we so, missed you all. Well, you probably don't seen and talk to him, but I haven't. So, I know. hello. So, introduce yourself, honey. Introduce yourself like so what's this going is on? brand spanking new. What? Introduce yourself. They ain't seen us in a, over a month. Introduce myself. Do y'all hear her? <laughs> I didn't stutter. Big Daddy Kane. Lee Green says she watching versus versus. Um, hello everyone. I'm Beauty. And yeah, this is Eclectnista. <laughs> Beauty. What's our next segment together that we're gonna be doing? You gotta get the people hyped for it, sis. Oh, what you mean say all that? You just say introduce myself. Introduce so, yeah. yourself. You come with something. Oh. I am a businesswoman, an entrepreneur, well, I should say a renaissance woman. She a serious I, I am serial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> serial. Um I have a bakery, so if you like baked goods and you live near the Jacksonville area, then please feel free to Hit me up on Facebook or Instagram at Beauty's Delectable Desserts. Um, I also have a twerk class that I have not resumed yet, but once I do resume it, everyone will know, and then you can book that as well. It's a twerk party on a go. Um, I am also a hairstylist, um, a singer. Um, Songwriter songwriter, um, dancer, obviously, if I have a dance class. A rapper. And then, um, you say a rapper. 
a rapper. I um, also have a t-shirt company um, called Print Star, so you can follow us on Instagram um, at Print Stars. Um, so if you like any custom-made t-shirts, apparel, or any type of unique little whatnots, we're here for it. Um, I think I'm about to get into the whole little mat making thing. The what? Mats, like custom mats. Like you talking about front your door mat? Front door mats. Oh, girl, you know my front door mat say, um, "Check your um, check your feelings before you come in my shit." Okay, that's what my door mat say. So I, I was looking at something like that the other day. So I was like, mm, I might try it. Um, you know, I'll try anything once as far as business related. And you know what? And I, will we, support, I will I will support and buy one because I change my mats on a season by season basis. Okay. Well, we're gonna mm -hmm. go with that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also we have me and Eclect Nista have a podcast. Um, we did one, you know, quick episode in, in on July. Instagram. In July. in July. Um, but a lot's been going on. We've been trying to move. And now that we're moved, trying to get the her spot then together so we can do our thing. And Girl, talk about some topics that may be a little bit taboo for most, but you know, fun for us. <laughs> and hope everybody. Just Girl, you're enjoy. talking about topics. Let me just tell them. Girl, we're going to talk about sex over on this podcast, okay? Because we, we can't talk about that too much on YouTube just due to the fact that, you know, you can get flagged for inappropriate talk, behavior, topics, subjects, yada, yada, yada. So she has created a podcast spot for us to talk about this freely she will talk on the um subjects of what it's like for a woman in her 30s i would definitely talk about what it's like for a woman in her 40s going into her 50s um i have three whole years from that so um <laughs> we're still in the 40s that's who has she trying to shine on me i'm joking it was a little jokey joke uh joke a joke okay <laughs> That I ain't laughing at. <laughs> what you laughing? No, I'm laughing at myself, not with you. I'm laughing at you. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you, Treya. I missed you. Talk. Uh, missed you too. And so, um, those of you thank who you, are TNC. just those of you who are just new, um, Tamutris is my sister. Just in case y'all did not know, that is my sister. Um. I have a very unique relationship with them all, okay? Me and her talk about, ain't nothing off limits, is it? No, not really. No, it's not. Nothing's off limits. That's why she felt like we would do good together. Together with her spot. Okay. Well, we just don't want any timidness because my mouth, I ain't timid. I know. I ain't shy. Um, yeah. We just keep it all the way. 100. 100. 100. No, 1,000. 1,000. Okay. So, Tamala says, Steph Club. Club 50 is where it's at. I believe it is, but I haven't joined quite yet. So, until I join officially, I'm still Team 40. Okay. Is team it 40. Tamala or Tamila? I think it's Tamila. And thank you, Tamila. Yes. Try to say your 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 dinner looked good, so good. Girl, yeah, it was. I had to whip that up real quick. That was in between me coming off IG live, then coming on here. So, whoop 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 whoop. So, um, just to talk about some things that's been going on in the world. Um, what happened with Wendy Williams? I never got clarity on that. Have you heard about that? I just I heard, heard that she's still sick. With her Graves disease and something else. They said it's not addiction. COVID. No, it's drug addiction. So you on drugs again? I heard that. Oh, that makes me really sad. I didn't hear that part. I heard that part, but I don't know how clear it is. You know, um, you can't People trust make up shit. Exactly. And rumors and like they already salty with her. 
Okay. Yes, because you know she's just one of them sisters that just tell it like it is. Um, but I did hear that she wasn't probably going to be returning for uh, the season. Mm-hmm. So um, I think it's due to um, her being in rehab, like Marjorie just mentioned. And they say she needs to stop with the show. She's been through a lot and clearly never stopped battling with addiction. True. I agree with that. I don't think she's ever really stopped um, coping with it. But a lot of people are like, this is what I don't like about social media. That's one thing to be 100 and 1,000. But don't be wishing bad on people, okay? I don't like that. I just really, right. really don't like that. Because some people are saying, like, you know, that's karma. But that's her karma. And it ain't for us to judge her, okay? What it says, only the Lord will be the one to judge you come judgment day. Yes, but I don't understand why they're saying that's karma. She's in the business of hot topics. And she's going to talk about it. So at that point, why I got to be karma? Like, why she can't just be discussing it? And you can agree to disagree. If you don't like what she's discussing, then stop giving her stuff to discuss. Okay? (laughs) You said stop giving her stuff to discuss. I'm just saying. So you can't get mad. You're going to get mad at everybody who discuss a topic and choose to say what their opinion is about it. I mean, it is what it is. And when you put yourself out there, you have to accept what comes along with it. So... You may like it, not like it, but you just agree to disagree with it. And if you don't like what she's saying, then you put out a statement saying whatever you got to say and keep it moving. But wishing bad on somebody because they're talking about that's the nature of her business. So if that's the nature of her business and you giving her shit to talk about, then shame on you. You're bad. I'm gonna sit if to you that. keep your shit private and quit being on social media all the time doing all the extra shit, then she wouldn't have nothing to talk about. Okay, and sis, what are you drinking on? Nothing. <laughs> I gotta go to work. Oh, that's right. That's right, y'all. She gotta go to work. Oh, so we gotta keep this we gotta keep this this show um tight tonight, okay? For real. Okay, so um yeah, that's the only part that I really don't like with with social media and everybody's you know commentary everybody wants to say that's what she get karma is a bitch but i don't look at it like that i mean like you said this is how she's made her money and her career is talking about celebrity gossip so why 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 kick her in the butt when she down right okay okay so um hold up let me um check my comments. Okay, so what else have you heard that's going on in the um with the tea today? I ain't really heard nothing. I've been Let me trying. Tell you. Listen, sis, this is what I'm about to say to you. Okay. Um, Stephanie be too busy trying to do what she got to do, sleep. Rest, make sure everybody in the house taking care of. I don't keep up with other people gossip, okay? I can only keep up with I was that. just about to say the same thing, girl. I've been trying to sleep and watch the back Hold of my on. eyelids. That's the only gossip I'm trying to look at. And what is saying? <laughs> what is saying? What is saying? Girl, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't I just if it wasn't for the shade room and on site. And like for just me talking with other people, I wouldn't know what the hell going on. Because first of all, I don't like watching the news. The news be kind of pissing me off because lately, because um every time you turn on the news, it's a commercial about I'm not gonna call it what it is. We gonna call it the Vaseline, okay? The <laughs> Vaseline. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I heard a commercial the other day in the car coming home and it was talking about kids. It was like, oh my God, if I would have just had the Vaseline, then I wouldn't have caught XYZ. And you know, I would still be in school. Shame on me. I'm like, oh my God, like they are like just really like pushing. They are they pushing the Vaseline. And don't don't let somebody in your family have the Vaseline. 
Tamitra's, we the only ones left. I don't know. <laughs> you mean we the only family left? The only little family unit left. Only little family unit left that we just have our our feelings about the Vaseline. So uh. when with that being the case, I don't watch the news because I get tired of seeing the same. Bye, Camila. Um, oh, she said she got to go to work in the morning. All right, girl, you can watch the replay. You can watch the replay. Thank you, Renee. Um, hold up. That's right. That is how Wendy started on Hot Topics um, on the radio. On the radio, exactly. That is how so, she got started. And she had a lot of problems then as far as people being mad at her then. But then they eventually, you know, realized this is the nature of her business. So, and they would tune in to get that tea. Hello, to talk about okay. somebody else. So just because so, she talking about you, now it ain't fun. I guess that part. But <laughs> do you watch? Do you watch Tasha K? I don't know who Tasha K is. Um, she is. I think it's called Unwind with Tasha K. And um, she be drinking her wine too, girl. She call her people winos and all of that. You know, she just helped out. She just put out some stuff with R. Kelly that probably got her like on a chopping block like, like right, right now because like she is like under investigation federally right now. Okay. Why? Because you in cahoots with the um, correction officer at the prison where he at and then just information that has been leaked that she actually has been a part of leaking. That's why I said I can't get into other people's business because I'm only over here trying to maintain the little business that I got. You feel me? And when you start getting in the big dog's business, uh-uh, I can't. Because I'm not getting Vaseline. I'm going to stick to my natural coconut. <laughs> okay. okay. Va Vaseline, I hope y'all know, is the code word. Okay. But no, I um I'll be on social media like that. Um when I do get on it finally and I'll be like um talking to Will and I'm like, oh, do you know um this and this and this? And he's like, You so late. So <laughs> no, I know. Jada and my husband do that to me too. I'd be like, oh don't do me. Okay. Exactly. Just be glad because I, I ain't got all that kind of time in the day to be wasted. That part. Don't do me. Right there. That part. Okay. Code for work. We're gonna say Vaseline is the code for the jab. They say, Steph, your business is big. Don't call it little. Oh, excuse me then. Correction. Correction. My bad. Let me sip on that. At least say, I know step. I'm going to stick to my natural remedies is what I'm saying. Yes, me too, honey. Me too. Me too. I'm going to stick to making sure I take all my vitamins and turmeric, apple cider. Trail said, I ain't getting the Vaseline either. They're going to have to come get me. <laughs> Period. Look, <laughs> um, I think our governor on purpose, I think he he's pushing it. But I think he's he's kind of trying to pull back from pushing it so much because there is a shortage everywhere. OK, there's a shortage with teachers. There's a shortage with postal workers. It's a shortage everywhere. And so oh, I know it's a shortage for postal work because we're getting all their work. Okay? Hello. <laughs> Hello. OK, dang, I know <laughs> come to the damn school because it's such a shortage. OK, dang, I know absolutely. School or uh, before school child care because it's such a shortage. Okay, it's because how you gonna try to force somebody? You ain't never tried to force somebody to get nothing else. So why are you trying to force us to get this? Don't know. Make it make sense. I don't know because if I still have the option to take a flu vaccine, I should again have to take anything. make it make sense. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm that part right there. I made some honey garlic. Oh, she said she made her some honey garlic. Got and it sitting in my mason jar. Okay, honey. 
Okay. Yep. Marjorie told me some damn. In that case, I'm lubed up. <laughs> no, ain't nobody I'm trying to play with this, okay? It's okay. Nobody. It's okay. Marjorie. It so, since we're talking about... Prayer said the forcefulness is what's scaring me. Exactly. That is that part right there. That's the part right there. So, and Lee Green said nothing is free. That's why I'm a little like, um, hello? Absolutely. Hold you. up. But hold up. If it's free, why wouldn't you go either get a test? Why are they asking for your insurance information? If it's free. Okay, we're gonna talk about that part. Renee said the government is trying to control the Vaseline on everybody else. I don't like listening to commercials either. It's definitely trying to scare us. Uh, I Girl. turn on title. As soon as I hear commercial, I turn title on. Okay, let me listen to some controlled <laughs> controlled content. Um, Yes, because um, that don't be, I don't be feeling that right now. I just really, really don't. And like I say, you know, we're we talking about everybody's tea and everybody's business, and we're talking about these shortages. You know, people are getting, people are going back to work in the buildings, okay? Um, it's not, a whole lot of people are not working from home remotely anymore, so a lot of people are going back to work. And me, Tamitris, I know you can resonate with what we about to talk about. Women going back to the workplace, what should you be looking for? Well, let me just go on and tell y'all. Be looking for um, Deanna over there to be talking about um, she doesn't understand your style. Is this business casual? Is this business professional? What is appropriate to what work? So I'm going to go ahead and say this. Old hags don't get it. And excuse me if I say somebody's an old hag. But when I say old hags, I'm talking about old hags. I mean, people who don't have no type of fashion sense. Don't have no sense of what's popping right now. Or they don't have no style sense for themselves. Okay, they ain't got no style. They just throw on whatever. And care and um and keep it moving, but I've been having a lot of women asking me like, "What do I wear going back to work now?" With it being, you know, we still in this this environment of I don't know. I don't think I could work with a bunch of chicks right about now. I just don't. I, just don't. I don't. I don't. I mean, I guess it depends on your work environment, what type, the nature of your business. So uh, if you are in an office setting, of course, you need to be business casual. And when we say business casual, we ain't talking about with no uh, skin tight jumpsuit to work. Or no leggings. Or no, no tight leggings. I mean, I ain't going to say that because some leggings, depending on what type of shirt and how long the shirt is, you know the type. Okay, you know, so let me let me let me clarify some, some some... type. There's there's some types that you can buy from the beauty supply store that clearly are see through. Okay, <laughs> we ain't talking about them. Then there's the kind that you can buy like from Charlotte Russe or Forever Twenty One. That's not forgiving because it show every dimple dent whatever okay but then if you're gonna talk about some leggings you go to <laughs> you look for spanks you look for the real deal holy feel okay the kind that you ain't never put on a pair of leggings and you be like damn these shits is fitting me like oh real good like i feel super fine today they done snatched you in all the right places then the leggings you want to wear not the beauty supplies, though, and not the ones from Forever 21 and Rainbow and all of that. You need them Spanx. Okay? Uh, Mother said it's called Mind Your Business Wear. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Bond is over there across the hall looking around because he's trying to find out where his business is. <laughs> Okay. Um. No. 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 So, to me, I'm just saying. I don't know. You've you've had those people who are like 
tiptoeing around like other women the way they dress and i just be feeling like it's to me it could be like shade it could be hate it could be i'm not able to do this or i'm not they oh i can't this is the one thing i cannot stand to hear other women say i wish i was able to do what you do well you can but some people get i would say this is what i'm gonna say Go say it, I ain't even gonna trip on what you're wearing, okay? Because you know, I have my days. You have your days. What the hell that mean? When I'm gonna wear what the fuck I want to wear, period. Oh. But make always make sure it's tasteful and that it's complementary to your body shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree with that part. Now don't be trying to do, don't be a big girl trying to do skinny girl things. That ain't gonna work. And don't be a skinny girl trying to do big girl things. It ain't That's gonna work. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be skinny wearing baggy clothes. Like no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. and you don't want to be thick wearing skin tight, tight, tight. And you can just tell the the, the material is fighting with each other. Like they fight, they fight and trying to stay together. <laughs> So ain't no shade to nobody, but I'm just saying, like, just wear stuff that complements your body okay, shape. Right. Um, things that you actually feel confident in as well. That too. That is a, a big, big thing right there. Um, because I have a coworker, like, she she was bigger, she lost weight, but she likes baggy clothes, and I just be like, girl, what's some like leggings or something? First off. Okay. I can say okay. this to her because we are, we're in a warehouse. Wear some leggings, something that, or even if you're not wearing leggings, something that fits you. You're no longer, you know, bigger. You have lost all this weight. That ain't cute, girl. But it ain't cute. But sometimes these people have body dysmorphia from when they were bigger and they didn't lost right. weight. Right. She said they, she they had some skin. They to see their self as this, this, this plus or big sized woman when they've lost the weight and then to me sometimes when people who wear clothes that are too big it actually makes people look sloppy for one second i feel like it's not it's not showing off the fact that you know you don't you don't put in work and you don't lost the weight and you know show what you don't work so hard for you know what i'm saying right like, uh-uh mm-mm mm-mm no, ma'am. Um, yeah, so we're, well, now they told us as supervisors or in management, upper, ma upper management, um, everyone needs to wear business attire, business casual. Um, so now she's forced to wear clothes that fit. And it ain't, and I understand she says she don't like tight clothes. And I'm like, okay, it don't have to necessarily be tight, but damn, can it fit? Can so, it fit properly? Yes. Like, I understand that you may not be that type of person who like your clothes fitted, fitted. I understand. Mm -hmm. But they need to fit. Your pants shouldn't be looking like you got a whole pamper on. Like, no. <laughs> no, that's not cute. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I'm so serious. I'm trying Lee to said, visualize this pamper. Lee said, I work. Damn, it went up. Hold on. She said, I work medical administrative and I work where I wore slacks, blouses, and some cardigans because the hospital is cold. But now I'm looking elsewhere for a job. Um, so Zena said, when I worked in the office, I mostly wore dresses, cardigans, and expressed my style with my shoes. Okay. Um, Marjorie said one lady once told another, Did you see Marjorie is blonde today? And she said it loud enough for me to hear it. And I said, and I will be a redhead next week. <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> okay. Lee said, if you can't pull your bottoms a little and then try again, LOL. I need a little stretch. LOL. Mama said, this about a woman losing weight or y'all on YouTube, not online. What? <laughs> I don't know what mama talking about. Mama, we're not talking about nobody losing weight. We're just talking about <laughs> what, what dress attire. 
for work. Now Now that people are going back to work, what should they wear? What shouldn't they wear? Um, Yes. I mean, but at the end of the day, it's to each his own. Do you? To me, just I did me every day, every day. I get compliments galore, okay? But at the at the most, it would be these women that was always, like, coming for me. And it would be, like, if you had your shoulder out. But then you got your shoulder out, and ain't nobody saying that because you say you going through menopause right now, and so you hot. So it's okay for you, but it's not okay for me. Exactly. And that's my whole thing. If you're going to make a rule, it needs to go across the board. There shouldn't be a double standard. Exactly. It shouldn't be, oh, well, she can do it because, you know, she white and skinny and exactly. you can't because you you dark skin and curvy. Girl, I Okay, was so- again, like I said, don't blame me. Talk to Jesus, okay? Blame me. I can't help that she, she thin and then I'm thicker than a snickle. <laughs> not my fault. Not but my I'm going to wear my fitted clothes. So if you have an issue with it, you take it up with Jesus. Okay. Take it up with Jesus. Okay. And <laughs> let me just tell you this. How I ain't never heard of somebody wearing a pencil skirt and it being loose. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never heard of somebody wearing a pencil skirt to the office and it being loose. Okay. And for the men out there that work with women. To me, if your ass is always distracted by what I'm wearing, then I think you need to check your eyeballs, okay? Because that ain't got nothing Period. to do with me either, all right? Period. Um, Renee said, but she don't think people at work should wear a mini skirt. I don't either. Well, I don't wear mini skirts at work. I'm just saying, like, if you were to wear something a little bit above your knee, to me, if you have on some type of hosiery, like tights, you know stockings or something like that to me it deflects from it because i think when people think of mini skirts all they think about is they see skin okay and i'm a, I'm a chick that's all about balance if you're gonna wear if you're gonna wear something that shows your legs all of this should be covered up okay it's called balance if you're gonna show your cleavage everything down here should be covered up it's called balance and some people don't know that some people don't. I don't care what size they are. Some people just don't know that, period. But okay. mini skirts, I don't, I don't pretty much do at work. And if I did do a mini skirt at work, I had on something that was long enough that was either a cardigan or a duster that covered me from the back. But from the front, you know, you see hosiery and all that stuff. Um, I think the rule of thumb is it should be where your middle finger ends at. If okay, it's way above you. that. Okay, let me show you this. This Because I don't see people do this at work. I don't see people do this at work. <laughs> We're talking about where your hands stop, right? Right. So these motherfuckers will be doing this. <laughs> or they'll be doing this. <laughs> This is what they will be doing to try to get past Justify. that. But then check the check this out. It don't even work in school, okay? The kids in school be trying to get away with the shit too, okay? So really, okay. is there... Well, the, some parents allow their children to wear that, so... Because <sighs> some people, I be like, what that? Really? Why is your child shorts all the way up her ass? I don't know. And you saw them get out the car. You saw them leave the damn house. What you talking about? Get out the fuck. Get off the car. You saw them leave the house. You saw their ass get out the car too. Because some kids just jump in the back seat and don't think their parents be paying attention. Child please, I be paying attention, okay? Oh, Lee Green said people wear skimpy stuff to church. So I know it's bad at work. Hello. I mean, but again, it depends on, I'll just say work appropriate. Yes, but everybody don't know what work appropriate is. So this is what I'm going to say. If you wear something that's sheer, that's sheer, have on a shell underneath, a cami, uh, a tank top, have something underneath because just because it's sheer, this is not meant for you to walk out the house like this 
just showing your bra and all that shit, okay? Unless you're going to the club. <laughs> That's the only exception to the rule, because if you're going to the club, clearly you're going to look for something, okay? Oh. Uh, <laughs> but yes, if you are working somewhere like I work, jeans, t-shirt, button-ups, uh, I do wear tights, so, but you work in a warehouse. Too. But, you but you it's a rule of tights, too, because some people be having on tights, and it look like they purposely pull them all the way to up their ass. Mm-mm. Not cute. I ain't trying to get a yeast infection. So, I'm going to need you not to be pulling your tights all the way up your booty crack. Okay? <laughs> Hold up. You want to know what's a trend? What is a trend now that I see? I can't say all women do this, but there is certain women I see do this. There, you talking about pulling them up your butt? They pulling them up. They, they. That's nasty too. They be JJ Why? too because Why? they want people to see. They want people to see their lips. And I'm sorry, but I don't need to see your lips part. That's I don't disgusting. need to see that. But Tamitra, you know this happens. Because if you're doing all that, that means you ain't got no drawers on. Which that part is right too there. Much. That part it's right too there, too. And we don't wear drawers. We wear panties. You know what I'm saying. But we wear, they ain't we got wear, none on. Whatever we, they want to call it, they ain't got they, them on. They call that, what do they call that? What do they call that? James Trey said, it. God said, come as you are. <laughs> he I did. Mean, I, he did, and I believe And you that. know, everybody ain't on the same. When they come to church, everybody ain't on the same level. Some people are babies in Christ. Some people don't even know the Lord, and they just trying, and they come as they are. Some people, they leave in the club and come in the church. So, I feel you. Baby steps. If that's they how trying to get work. right. So, you right, Treya. God said, come as you are. But they ain't say I come do. to a job like that, though. They sure the hell did in that part right there. They did not so say come to a job. Has a dress code. Like that. Oh, you walk up called, in there, you will be turned right back around. When you come in there with no underwear on, um, that's called uh, not camel toe. It's called commando. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh uh. That's not a cute look at all. Period. Okay. Um, Sandra said, "Just dress modest." Yeah, I agree. Um, modest, but okay. A chick like me don't. Nerva said it's not about it's about styling, but at the end of the day, be appropriate. I feel you. Of course, of course, of course. But I know, I know. Come on now. I want, I want to see some thumbs up for this next statement that I'm about to make. Have you ever just worked with some? people and i'm not gonna even say women but some people that just hate on how fabulous you are no matter if you are appropriate no matter if you know everybody loves the way you 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 step on the scene it's gonna always be somebody that just be hating, hating. the hate okay so let me go on and put my first little thumb up because um I, I i i could testify honey I could testify. I got stories. Okay. Hello. I can too. Yes, stories. And I'm gonna tell you, sometimes it be the men that's the worst. I had I had them tell me this is story time this week. Y'all gonna get. I had they they tell me at work that um literally um I was distracting the men folks. I said, well, that sounds like a personal problem. They ain't got shit to do with me. Keep your eyes in your head and your um your comments to yourself, and you will get along just fine, okay? I can't. Trey is like, men who can't control themselves either, they will make a problem with your clothing, even if it's appropriate, but you look too good in it. Yes, that's the problem that I had with these fat fuckers that worked with me. Oh. <laughs> well, they, oh. Tell us how you really feel. I do. I do feel like that. And then the motherfucker gone. He complained to his DM about the way I dress because I was distracting them. But when I say covered up, covered up, like I said, this is the pencil skirt. Okay, the pencil skirt caused problems. 
But then when I went to a conference with him, he going to call me talking about some Stephanie, what you wearing to the conference so we can coordinate. James said, no, motherfucker, we don't coordinate. You was not the husband, okay? Oh, you had all that shit to talk about. Now you want to coordinate with my wife? Please. You got to coordinate. Coordinate. <laughs> coordinate. <laughs> Take this little piece right here. And we're gonna coordinate, okay? All right, uh, no, but no. they just gonna hate. I mean, you can be, you can have on damn the same thing somebody else got on, but if your shape is on point and theirs ain't, theirs disproportionate, they are gonna find a reason to hate. They do, so, and it's so sad. It's so like, honey, take a picture. It lasts longer. It sure do, honey. I'd be quick to say that. Take a picture. It will last a whole lot longer than you over here trying to imagine. And so then, oh my God, when it comes to the men, this is what fucks me up the most. When you see their wife, that's why they're looking at you. <laughs> that's why you're distracting. You distracting them from the from the task at hand. I'm sorry. They can't understand the assignment at home because you distracting them at work. That's okay. that's to me that's not like a, <laughs> that's not like a real personal problem. Okay. It is. It is a personal problem, problem, but you know, it's not a personal problem that I care to care about. I mean, so this, this I just be like, this is all I'm gonna continue to say. Now that you done said this, blame it on Jesus. Blame it on Jesus. Like, don't, on you need to put, don't you need to um put a, a, a whole shirt on? Don't you need to mind your business? <laughs> Stop looking at it. That's all I can tell you. They That's all I can tell you. Can't help it. It'd be like you got some of these um these men and some of these women distracted. Okay. That's not my problem. Point. That is exactly. not my problem. My problem is to bring my ass to this job, do what I need to do for these eight hours, and then take my ass home. Anything outside of those three things ain't my problem. Ain't my okay. Problem. Okay. So if anybody got an issue, they need to mind their business or mind the business that pays them. Because looking at me and worrying about what I'm doing, I ain't got so, shit to do. And they don't pay me. Getting paid. Exactly. You show them. Cause if you can pay to worry about me, then child, I need to, I need to get up on them. I need to cut. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I need to cut because I get y'all the tea. I know, I know, I know. They said they of the wife don't even use mascara. Okay, Dre said, and these men be married. True. Um, Lisa, even on her worst day, she turned her head. I can, I could totally feel you yes. on that. Uh, always like I say they wife be ugly at home with three bellies. I'm not gonna call nobody ugly. I'm gonna just say they might not just be. They what might they be mean? facially challenged. Yeah, just challenged, just challenged. Or you know, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So this we show know is because I'm gonna tell you this. I find some of the most beauty in the ugliest damn things. Now, my man, no, but um. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to fashion and style, it could be the most hideous shit that literally I can find beauty in. But yeah, yeah. not my man. Not my man. Um, talking about the wife be looking like the Grinch. What does ISTG stand for? What does ISTG? Break that down for me. I don't, I don't, I don't please, know. Please, Lee. Please, Lee. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means. Um, but um, yeah, I, I be just really tripping off of the bullshit that women women have to put up with. Cause um, I don't be seeing the men put up with this shit at work. You see your nephew? He wants to see his glasses. Oh, you want glasses? You look so handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Do you feel better now? Yes. No headache. He don't know. He just got him yesterday. Well, he he already can see a change. Oh, he can see a change in sight. It looks like I'm in a like a game. Oh, looks like he's in a game. Because <laughs> everything is clear. <laughs> yeah. Every time I look at a tree or something, it's like every time I look at a tree, it's like I'm looking at. 
something in a game. Oh, it's that detail, right? So it looks like the trees are actually like like drawing trees when you like draw a tree and then color it. Okay. Oh, okay. It's comes to life. He'll, a, he'll realize whenever he gets to school so he can see that damn board. Hello. That's going to be the true test. Which is tomorrow. Which is tomorrow. I can't wait to Which hear this tomorrow. report. I can't wait to hear this report. Mommy, you see your, your grandbaby got some glasses on. Ah! This way. Yes, and he got that fresh hook in his head. Okay, that fresh hook. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's so well spoken he oh is. thank you his mama don't play and his daddy don't either mom you coming to the OB mm. he said what he said see the comments about him that he handsome <laughs> he saw that part okay he exactly part. I just start got some glasses <laughs> I'm even. I'm, I'm still cute without glasses. Oh, you are, honey, and you are not cute. Cute is for babies. You are handsome, honey. That can't. Bah. Okay, you next, Bye. Demetri. Margie says her biggest pet peeve is when it comes to fashion and beauty is when they say you don't need that makeup. <sighs> Look. Marjorie, I'm going to 100% feel you on that. And I'm going to add an extra 1% to it, okay? I know I don't need to wear makeup. However, I choose to wear makeup. And I'm not going to allow anybody to tell me that I don't need to wear it. I like it. I know how to put it on. Um, I know how to take it off. And I also know how to take care of my skin when I'm not wearing it as well, okay? So like, people can miss me with all that. You don't need the makeup. <laughs> That's like doing your makeup and don't need lashes. I'm not really a makeup person, but also I work. I know I stay rubbing my face, which is why I don't wear makeup like that. But I do when I have like events or performances or if I'm, I know I'm taking pictures. But most of the time you're going to see me bare. Now I'm trying to get me some little lashes. But other than that, mm -mm, I just. Because I stay rubbing my eyes and it'll just be pointless. Why do you always rub your eyes? I don't know. They just be like itching Dry, sometimes. Itching. Especially when I be at work. It be feeling like stuff be in them. Oh. Well, which is all that I, dust. All that dust. Yeah. That's what it is. So um, y'all gonna see me bare like this most of the time. But like I said, I'm trying to find, I want at least the lashes. So, so this is what I make. suggest to you. This is what I suggest to you because this is what I like too. I didn't realize I was somebody who liked lashes even when I didn't have makeup on. Okay. I just think that when I don't have makeup on, it still gives me a well put together look. Right. And it still gives me a little glam, a little, psh, you know, mm -hmm. a little something, something. Okay. Right. So, that's why I actually like lash extensions. So if I choose I not to find wear some, them. I want to find some because I see them and it, they be too much. I don't like the too much. I don't like that looking like baby bop. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I think the second set I got, I looked like baby bop. And so when I got the third set, I had to say, you know, look, um, I don't want them like heavy thick. I like them wispy and I don't like to look like I got on glasses and you can't see my actual eyeballs when I have them on okay I think that's a problem <laughs> when they look too thick and they look too heavy that's when you can't see people eyes so the third set was like on point so I think my lash my lash tech I think she finally understand me I have on uh strips now but I'm taking a break from them because they said our eyelashes go through cycles and mine's is going through a cycle right now. And I'm gonna let them go through the cycle and then I'll bring them back next month. But I like the way I look with no makeup on too, just with the lash that just gives me enough glam to throw some gloss on and keep it moving. Right. Because I feel like, I mean, I have lashes. I just, when I don't have no, 
makeup on Liner or, or something. I'd be feeling like I look I look sleepy, even though I am. <laughs> she said, even though she is. <laughs> okay. So I'd be trying to like, okay, but I that's the only reason I haven't did the lash extensions. I considered them, but then I was like, mm, I don't want my eyelashes looking like no. Like just too much. To this is this I is like the combination. This is the this is the combination. You got to do the natural hybrid. It gives you a little bit of volume and length. No no none of that thick baby bop shit. Okay. No. This shit be looking crazy when I be seeing people yeah. at work. I be like, yeah. mm -mm. she like she about to fly away with her damn eyelashes. Girl or fan me one. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Miss Sandra said you got to get the dry eye drops for itchy eyes. Yes. Okay. And like Lee Green said, there are certain lengths. I do lengths 17, 13 to 17. And as spikes, I do 19s. Um, so I know my lengths now. And I know what to specifically ask for now. Nah. Okay. Um, Asha said, have I used Corology? I'm currently using Corology, and I actually love Corology. I was talking to my younger sister tonight about Corology, and I just like that it's simple, simple steps, and it, it advises you to use no other products on your skin while using this um, skin regimen, and I see the results. I see it. I love it. Um, somebody said something about beating oh, okay. their face. They said, yeah, lash extensions, do your brows and put some glasses, some gloss on for just to run outside real quick. But when I'm dressed up, I'm going to beat this face. Facts. I totally feel you. Marjorie said to me, just stop trying to um, rub your eyes because it messes up the shape of your eyeball. That's how my eyes became nosy. I swear. She said, this is how her eyes became nosy. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody said the people at work, the dudes come with nut huggers. They come with what? Hey, ladies, nut but know the time men come into work with the damn nut hugger pants, like, that's okay. Look, look, let's dissect them right quick, Okay. <laughs> Listen, I know a few of them, and I just be like, "So you just gonna stand with your booty in, trying to make it stick out even more?" Like, <laughs> you say you gonna just stand with your booty in, <laughs> girl? Cause they be trying to show, they be trying to show that they got something, honey. I agree. That is what they call nut huggers. Okay. <laughs> Not hugging. or even some who come to work with basket um not basketball well yeah basketball shorts and gray pants. Wow, okay, I'm like um y'all doing too much. Yeah, you already much. know you is a thirsty man. Okay, you thirsty. Lead him. But to the some of the women they coming in they're looking for dudes. They don't really want to work. They trying to find somebody who gonna pay their bills. Oh, that's it. That's okay. it. They be trying to find one of them drivers that's married. Or somebody that's just old and lonely. Well, check this out. Every time a dude be trying to holler at me, this is my this is my uh, comeback every single time. Be like, let me take care of you. Okay, well, you got five of us to take care of. <laughs> it's, it's me, James, Jada, Jasmine, and LeBorn, okay? You got okay. five of us to take care of. So if you ready to take on a whole family... Do your thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, you buy me them shoes too? Oh, make sure you get a size. A nine. Ten, nine and men. <laughs> they be like, are you serious? Yeah, because clearly your ass like act like you don't see this ring on my finger and you act like you ain't heard everybody tell you that I'm married. But you want to take care of me. I'm sure you said men be coming to work with a tight shirt and a booty do. They stomach hang out more than they booty do. Girl, she ain't lying. Yes, they do. That is the new interpretation of a booty do. 
<laughs> Lee said my guy was putting on gray sweats, and I said, I wish you would walk outside. <laughs> I bet he changed that sweatsuit. <laughs> Let me see. James don't leave the house in no damn grave. <laughs> he didn't understand. He was like, why is it like such a thing with the gray sweatpants? I was like, dude, we see everything. Y'all think y'all the only one to be checking women out. Women be checking men out too, honey. They be dick watching. She said they be dick watching. They do. And some people who with sweatpants on don't need them on because it just look like they got like a little ping. <laughs> like uh no and you, you trying to holler at who you tried it so. and you tried it <laughs> i'd be mean, like hey so sad. all she's talking about i used to work with my ex and he used to always let him nut huggles <laughs> I can't. Girl, she want he wanted you to still be looking at him. That's what it was. He still wanted you to have eyes for him, honey. No, because <gasps> yes. you notice that most men now, because when since they came out with the skinny pan and all that kind of stuff, they wear those versus what they, they used to wear back in the day. So it's oh. like oh them too tight. Listen, I don't listen. like it. I thought I need to go my, back to the regular listen, old school pants. Straight leg jeans, okay? I um hey charms my husband don't james don't own a skinny uh, pair of skinny jeans okay <laughs> he don't, own a pair. don't either he was mm -hmm. like that shit is not cute he said that's what these young bucks on here james say he's too grown of a damn man okay she said charm said not ping <laughs> 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 I'm the well under their gray suede pants some of them don't I Lee said, know. my guy didn't understand either. I had to tell him, LOL, but it's true. Our eyes just go there automatically. I, I'm going to tell you, I'm a... <laughs> she is a it's not on purpose. <laughs> but I did watch. She I am a connoisseur. <laughs> she, the she the president of the club. <laughs> So I just be like, but it's not on purpose. It's not even intentional. It's just be like. <laughs> so just like they be like, oh, all I see is ass. So I'm look, that's what they can't stop. All I can see is breasts. Okay, well, all I see is Okay. <laughs> Marjorie told me something. Damn, that's my problem. I need to start checking these what? things out. She said she need to what? Start checking these things out. Yes. Girl. It's some, the art some, it. some of them just put it in your face, girl. You can't help but check it out, okay? Oh. <laughs> I tried something I did watch. Do you use binoculars? <laughs> if, no. they got, if they got a ping. <laughs> <laughs> they got a ping. <laughs> you might need to have a binocular. Or you might need to have one of these. Hold up. Some of the glasses you got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If it's a ping, I see. You. I am. I am charmed. She told me somebody you doing research collecting data for her spot. Yes, she is, honey. I'm waiting for her to give me the date so we can go live. Oh, I got my sign. I ain't opened it yet. Why? You scared? No, it just came the other day and I've been asleep, busy. Oh. Yeah. But I am. So, tonight we have just been um, chit-chatting about what to wear and what not to wear at work. This week... Be sure to turn on your comments for Eclect Nista because I'm going to be giving out some shout to those of us that are returning to work and don't know what quite to wear. And if you got a hater, I'm going to just tell you that just means you're doing the right damn thing, okay? If you got a hater. She said, if it's a thing, I don't even want it. It's too dangerous. I feel you, girl. 
honey, James didn't understand what the gray sweatpants was either, but I had to educate him. And now that he's been educated, he knows not to walk out this house without them either, okay? Hold up, ain't it the basketball shorts too? Yes. Mm -hmm. They be knowing. They be acting like they don't know, but they know. Exactly. They know what they be doing. And make sure they be doing extra bouncy stuff when they be on the court. Really? That's what they be doing to me, just <laughs> <laughs> She said extra bouncy stuff. <laughs> so that so that they're gonna be a pr a pr pr uh, protruding. Okay, she's fine. Her. Hopefully, I ain't messed up. Well, uh, how long you done had it? It just came the other day. I you know, ordered you, about a month ago. You have a habit of not opening boxes. See, everybody excited to see it. Here we go. Here we go. To me, just I swear I'm not used to seeing you with dark hair. Right now, we look like polar opposites. <laughs> we do. We like polar opposites. Marjorie said to me, just how do you bounce a ping? You don't. You can't. It just means it's non existent. No, it's existing. It's just, what am I going to do with that? Uh, if, it, if it ain't no bouncy stuff going on, you can't see it. No, I said when the green sweatpants, it looked like just a ping because that's how I be sticking out. Just like ping. She's a professional dick watcher, y'all, so she would know best. <laughs> I wouldn't say all that now. <laughs> I ain't no professional now. You could have fooled me. Um, try and suck in my Marjorie. You don't. You just flick it. Fuck a ping. I I know. I know. That's right. I need a pong. Bump bump a ping. Demetrius, it's taking too long for us to see the sun. Oh, you got a neon light. Oh my gosh. I like it. What color it lights up? Pink? Yep. Supposed to. OMG. Official. Her spot where pussy is power, in case y'all forgot the, the tagline. I just re reiterated it for y'all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, with that being said, because 907 and somebody got to yes, go to work, go to work. <clears throat> and um, somebody got to go watch Walking Dead. Um, <laughs> I sure do. So with that being said, tonight, y'all, I am going to be sharing um a Black-owned business that I support and I actually have spent my money with, okay? Um, her name is, let me pull it up. <clears throat> Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, her spot. So when we be when we be on um her spot, we we gonna be in a dog. No. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I got you got your little ring light. Ooh, y'all. I can't wait. Okay, so tonight's black owned business that I am giving a shout out to. <clears throat> this is not paid content. This is um money that I spent on myself. Okay. Is it's in the description um box so you all can look it up, but it is beautiful creations, and she is a local um mobile boutique here in New Jersey. All her fashions 
are mobile, honey. She can bring the shop to you, okay? So I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing tonight, and I'm going to show you this other piece that I bought from her as well that I'm going to be rocking all fall long. Y'all going to get tired of seeing it. <clears throat> but this is this two-piece jumper. It, it's matching. It has pockets with the matching kimono okay that matches it as well and um i bought this off of her actual truck her mobile boutique and i also bought this this is my favorite i bought this camo long trench see how long it is and it says, there's nothing like a sister, okay? It's got the graffiti and the pockets in the front. Beautiful creations. She's on IG, like on business. And I look forward to be working with her here, for, okay? Okay, so y'all, beauty has to go. Go ahead and say good night, sis. Good night, y'all. Um, it was good to see you guys tonight. Thank you for joining us. Um, and we will be back with all the good info and all the good content soon and very soon. So I gotta go to work. I will holler at you later. Yes, ma'am. Talk to y'all guys. You guys later. Yes. Bye. Be safe and I love you. Love you too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So beauty is gone. So as I was saying, y'all be sure to check out Be Beautiful. I'm going to type it in the comments, but it's also in the description box. Um, like I said, she is a mobile boutique and she got that fire. Okay. I bought, I bought this, the camo jacket. And if you guys were on my live site, my live sale that I did on IG on Thursday, um, I had this military blazer that I was showing y'all that, um, if somebody didn't purchase, I was going to keep it. And I was going to keep it for myself and put all my Chanel um, brooches and stuff on it. <clears throat> Very personable um, lady. And I like when I actually get to meet the owners of these boutiques and just <clears throat> find out, you know, they swag. They already pegged me from the time I walked up, y'all. They already knew I was their customer, okay? And <clears throat> no lies told, I was. So... On that night, on, on that note, my um, black businesswoman that I'm shouting out tonight on IG is Beautiful Creations. Y'all be sure to check her out. She has some dope fly stuff. <clears throat> um, everything is new. And she's um, dropping her fall collection, I believe, this week. So y'all be sure to check her out. <clears throat> We have about 18 minutes left on this live. So if you guys would like to ask some questions, we could do a little quick Q&A. <clears throat> we could talk about or ask for advice, whatever the case may be. Wide open right now for the next 8, 17 minutes now. 17 minutes. So y'all talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. <clears throat> So this is a question I have for y'all. Are y'all a night owl or somebody? That's an early bird. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. I'm a night owl. I'm not an early bird. Period. Okay? Period. <clears throat> About to go watch the vlog now. Thank you, Marjorie. <clears throat> um, somebody was asking me earlier... 
Um, yeah, I'm a night owl too, girl. <clears throat> Nighttime is is the right time for me and Netflix, Hulu, Prime TV, Apple TV. <clears throat> that's the right time for us, okay? I'm not somebody who's an early bird. And when I try to be an early bird, this don't work out too good for me. Okay? It just don't. So, um, I'm so glad that Beauty was able to join us tonight. Um, <clears throat> each week, the... Charm, so it all depends on how she's feeling. Now, if I'm sleepy, the sleep gonna get me, honey. That's gonna just make me a I'ma stay in a bed type chick, okay? Trey says, I can't believe the holidays are around the corner. Are you guys traveling this year for the holidays? Are you staying in your new home? I'm actually staying in my new house this year. <clears throat> Thanksgiving might be up for grabs, um, depending or we can um, get tickets, but um, Christmas and New Year's, no, I plan on being at my home because I'm already um, prepping the house for it because I plan on having some guests, okay? Always write, never share your location on social media until you leave the area. Facts. Facts and mo facts, because Marjorie, I know that was your number one concern with me <clears throat> while I was traveling. I can't wait to see the Christmas decor. Child, I can't either because all I know is that it's changing. That's all I know. Um, for the past twenty-seven years, um, we've always did a um, multicolored Christmas tree. <clears throat> and this is the first Christmas, like, I don't want to do that. Like, I actually want a color scheme for this Christmas tree. And since my girls are grown now, um, I'm actually creating um, ornament boxes for them for this Christmas. Where ornaments that they have collected over the years in our house, <clears throat> um, some I'm going to give them. And so that they can have a, a start of Christmas from their history of Christmases as children. So <clears throat> I wanted to travel to California for my birthday, but solo. But it's a friend I know down there. I just wanted her advice. Hmm. Well, girl, if you want to go to California, go to California. <clears throat> I think it's a good thing to travel and not wait for anybody. Me too. Like me going to Georgia, I went with my whole family, but as y'all saw, I came back by myself <clears throat> and I was able to move as I wanted to by myself. Sometimes when you travel with a group of people or small group of people, um, it just tends to be chaos when it comes to where everybody wants to go, where everybody want to do and stuff like that. Versus if I got my own car and I'm solo, I could just, I could do me whenever I want to do me. Um, thank you, Asia. These are some ones from the beauty supply store. There's a dollar 99, girl. <clears throat> oh, Trey, this year I really, really plan on keeping up with Vlogmas. <clears throat> The whole 31 days. I plan on keeping up with it the whole time. That is my plan. And I just got a lot going on this holiday season that I'm like excited to see happen. I want a pink Christmas tree. Oh, if I could have a color tree that I wanted, but I'm going to stick to green. <clears throat> I think I want, like, I want an orange or a purple tree. Okay. And then just decorate it from now. What are the best blouses to wear in an off setting with jeans? I would say button ups, most definitely. Um, the thing with a button up is, I'm gonna tell you, girl, a button up can be sexy too, child. If you don't, um, if you 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 choose not to button a couple of buttons, a button up can be sexy too. However, I think um, if you keep it uh, appropriate. <laughs> Right, girl, okay. 
No cleavage line showing. I think that's appropriate. I think cow necks, cow neck um shirts are appropriate for business attire. Um <clears throat> We already know like sweaters and turtlenecks and stuff like that. But I definitely think button ups, um, if it's something silk or something that you can actually see imprint through, just make sure you have on the right um, undergarments such as a bra that is aligned. Okay. Um, silver and gold this year. I was thinking about doing silver and gold too, Trey. I was thinking about doing silver and gold and bronze with something that's going to pop. Um, Trey, traveling with women can get tricky too. Yes, it can, child. You'll see your friend's true colors once you travel with them. Ain't that a fact, honey? Hey, Marina THC. Asia, I love Fashion Nova crop tops. You know what? I can honestly be so real with y'all. I've only purchased three things from Fashion Nova since Fashion Nova has been in existence. One was a pair of jeans because I had to see if these jeans was the hype. <clears throat> and I'm going to have to say, no, they weren't. Um, a pair of high waist trouser pants. And I bought a pair of Birkenstock like sandals. Those are the only three things that I've ever purchased from Fashion Nova. Now, ask me by Shein. A uh, fresh box sitting right over there that just came yesterday. Okay. Um, let's see. Always right. Did y'all know Eve, the rapper singer, is pregnant? No, I did not know she's pregnant. Do you think it's kind of selfish for her to get pregnant so late? in age um i'm gonna say to each his own because when i got pregnant early on in my life at 20 1920 um i was mad about that because i was like this is not how i wanted this to play out but now that i'm older and i'm in my 40s and my girls are in their 20s and they grown it worked out for me so i I say to each his own when it comes to um, when people choose to have kids. It's just to me, I just be wondering how if you 50 years old and you didn't have your first child by the first time, by the time your child 18, your ass going to be 68 and you going to have to be like staying up with everything that's going on and stuff is changing so fast with technology, social media and stuff like that. If you're not the in the know type of parent, you screwed. You just screwed. Um, Treya said fashion know this too pricey for me, but really cute stuff. Mm, I don't know. Um, I tend to like Shein better than I like Fashion Nova. Um, do y'all shop on Shein? I do. Like I said, box sitting right there. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, Catherine says, selfish how? Trace, I don't think it's selfish. They are both millionaires, mature, and with their life together. And truthfully, she's not that old. No, how old is Eve? I don't even know how old Eve is. She's almost 50. So, see, she's right with me. I'm 47. And I, I am looking forward to turning 50. I am. I feel like that is like a huge milestone. And um, I just know my theme that year is going to be 50 and fabulous at every fucking thing. Do you hear me? 50 and fabulous at every fucking thing. Okay. Woo. Woo. That is like huge. Eve is 42. I thought Eve was older than that child. Yes. I shop on Shein. I love it. Girl is not, Eve is not almost, she's 42, isn't close to 50. Damn. Okay. That was a typo. I know. Hey, Elizabeth. I want to go to Hawaii, but I don't want to go by myself. I don't like traveling by myself on long trips. <laughs> Look, on a long trip, no. 
I could travel by myself, but I would prefer not to, especially if I'm going somewhere that I deem to be romantic and like, I just know I'm going to just get lots of like, you know, us time and stuff. No, I don't like going on trips like that. Hawaii is not a place where I would like to travel alone either. That's why I spent the first three years of my marriage was in Hawaii. So that has some significance in my world. So I uh, know. I want to go to Spain. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Japan. Um, I want to go to all the islands, Aruba, St. Lucia. I want to go to all them places, but not until we got a, a grip on uh, COVID-19. I went to Mexico by myself and I ain't going to lie. I was sad as fuck. Oh, girl, Mexico is not a place to go by yourself either. I don't think it's just because of the atmosphere. Like, why would you want to go by yourself? I still want to go to Puerto Rico. Oh, she said she want her a red Christmas tree. I think I want like a purple or an orange Christmas tree, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. I am not buying no new Christmas tree this year. Maybe next year I will when everything go on sale after this Christmas. But um, my Christmas tree is going right back up. She's just going to be dressed differently this year. So I'm looking forward to decorating my house for Christmas. I was doing the cha-cha in the club by myself. Cha, I'd have been out there. Get cha-cha to the left. You can cha-cha to the right. Mm -mm. Child, they playing some good music. I'll be on the dance floor by myself. I don't even care about stuff like that. Okay. Oh, I bet the black tree was pretty. I hope you still got it. I hope it was artificial tree. How do you ladies feel about someone at work always having a comment about your look every day? When I know I'm looking good. Let me just tell you this. Child, I get dressed for myself when I did have a place to go to work, you know, working for corporate. Um, I dress for myself every day and really never, ever, ever gave a damn about what other people thought. Um, to me, I just felt like it was an age, an age and also a style like gap you don't know what's trending you don't know what's in style you don't know how to put shit together so how can you even tell me how to dress when you don't be looking like you work for the women's department at this at the store location um have you ever worked with people that work in those type of atmospheres but don't look like they need to be working in those type of atmospheres because how can you help anyone so to me Personally, um, if you got something to say about what I'm wearing every day, thank you for checking for me. Thank you for allowing me and showing me that I am doing the damn thing. But also, respect that this is my style. My style may not match your style, which in a lot of cases, that's how it has been places I've worked. It's always been either a male who couldn't control his eyes or it's been a woman who hasn't been confident in herself. And like I say, they always say that comment, I wish I could do what you do. You can. You, first of all, don't have the confidence. Or second, you just, you don't want to. Okay? You have to want to. You know what I'm saying? And I don't look at it as being conceited, cocky, or arrogant, or anything like that. It's just confidence. That is the best accessory that you can put on every single day, hands down. Okay? Hands down. Did you hear about the dark, right winter? No, what is that? A black Christmas tree. Hmm. Still have it. Okay. I bet that black tree was all that. Yes, what is the dark winter? And Marina THC, you told them right. Ain't nothing about you is basic. So... You might want to learn something from me. Pull out your pad and your pen, okay? Okay, so Eve is 42, not 
close to 50, y'all. They're saying that this winter is going to be a very going to be very bad with food shortage and bad weather. Wow, they've already predicted that. Damn. Child, let me um get my pantry. My pantry full now, but let me get it all the way. All right, okay. Food shortage and bad weather. Bad weather, I definitely can see. Food shortage, I can see because people aren't going to work. I saw that in the grocery store last night. Like, shelves was, like, empty of, like, certain things included. as things that were on sale, but it wasn't nothing else for nobody else to get. So, when I was talking to the uh, cashier, that's what she was telling me. We ain't got, no, ain't got nobody to work. That's why the lines is long and all of this. And always right, I agree. Just got to be confident enough to know you are a bad bitch and ignore them. I did. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Treya said, the vice president, I know, said to start Christmas shopping right now because you might not be able to during the winter, whatever that means, maybe another shutdown. I think there will be another shutdown. No Regardless of what people may think or say, I think there is going to be another shutdown. That's why I think they keep pushing the Vaseline, okay? The food has been short for a while. COVID is supposed to get worse, too. Yeah, I heard that part. Do you watch Lovely T 2002? No. Um, I waited until late 30s because I wanted to see the world and travel and go to school. And I didn't find that right person until age 35. Good for you, Miss Elliot. Everybody ain't able, honey. Um, Nistas, have a good night. Be safe and stay safe. See you later. Yes, Charms. I'll see you later, honey. Um, people need to stock up on food. Yep. All right, y'all. We just hit our time and it is 931. And, um, as promised, I will see y'all again next Saturday for Women Who Won. And we will start promptly at eight o'clock and y'all be sure to bring a friend and tell a friend to bring a friend. Okay. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to be okay. Cause y'all be missing out over here on YouTube. Y'all be missing out and don't even know y'all be missing out. I have been doing live sales for the last two weeks on IG and I've been selling things out of Stephanie's closet. Okay. So you need to be sure to go follow me at I am Eclagnista over on Instagram so that you guys can participate in these live sales on Thursday nights. At 8 p.m. as well. Um, it has been a blessing to see y'all all again this week. And I pray I get to see you all again next week. I look forward to laughing and having good girl talk and fun with y'all as always. And it's a pleasure. And it's been a pleasure. All right. So I love you all, Nisa Squad, and I will see you guys next week. Be sure to check out the new vlog that just posted today at 2 p.m. All right. So be on the lookout for some content this week because it's going to be all around what we talked about. Okay. Okay. Good night. <laughs>